you know, from my perspective, it's looking at if your body is amazingly intelligent. I mean, how do you digest your food? How do these thoughts pop up inside? <laughs> you know, this is an amazing, intelligent body. Right. And if we look at it from the point of view, the body's always trying to be healthy. Right. How do we get in the way? And our environmental stresses today, with all the toxicity and so forth, as you point out in Tito's, it's, it, we're getting in the way of the natural healing process. And when I've seen people go through miraculous changes, ADHD gone, autism reversed, cancer, people suddenly like healthy and vibrant, you know, what just happened? It seems like a miracle because sometimes very fast, sometimes it takes time. Is it a miracle or is it just normal? That's what I keep reminding people. Health is normal. It's like, yet today, statistically, our health is just going downhill. And there's an illusion today that somehow with modern medicine, we're healthier. Well, we're not. Our body's amazingly capable of, of detoxifying. Right. But we also have to gain some of the wisdom of the past, which is also part of your program, which is cleansing. Yes. We, we, we shower every day, we clean our body, we have to learn to clean the insides. And this isn't new information. Even long before the world was- Thousands uh, was, of years they've been fasting. Exactly, and... long before we had all the toxicity right. we have today, people would always include some version of fasting right in their protocol. Religions would have right. the holy days where you'd fast right. or you eat less or whatever. Right. We've got to give our digestion a break so that the immune system can go into cleansing. The whole body can start cleansing. Well, I like to talk about it and I say that really, I think what I've discovered is that, and there's a lot of research to support this, that caloric reduction with intermittent fasting was always a strategy for longer life, they used to say. But of course, always. here's the problem. Our food so nutritionally bankrupt. If you tried to go down to that nutrition level, your body would go into ketosis, you'd store fat, and now you got a problem. What I have stumbled upon, and you helped me with, with certainly some of this, was that, now wait a minute, there is a way that we can give the body high amounts of nutrients, nutrition, in very few calories. That's the secret. Now you've got the ability to lower calories, but not lower nutrition, and do what I call nutritional fasting. That's really what I call it, because I finally figured out, okay, what's going on? Because Where's the fasting coming from? Where's the detox happening? In the body. Why? Because we put it in a specific protocol with very few calories, but massive amounts of nutrients. Bingo! All of a sudden, the body is getting rid of the toxins that it doesn't want to store anymore. Yeah, the challenge for a lot of people today, even if they have a kind of a family history of recognizing the value of, of eating less on a day or fasting for a day or a couple of days, is that they do it. But their body is so nutritionally deficient, it's miserable. They feel terrible. Horrible as opposed to taking some extra supplements while you're fasting. Right. You provide the, the body with the nutrition it needs because it just simply doesn't have it. And help the body to cleanse itself, get the right nutrition, and on the third leg of that little stool is to be able to consciously protect yourself from those oxidizing elements in the environment that are causing free radical damage in our brains, oxidative stress, inhibiting normal functioning of the body. There's over 150,000 studies on PubMed talking about oxidative stress, and most people never heard that. You know, every single health condition that has to do with the mind has to do with inhibited liver function. People haven't heard that, you know, not being able to make enough glutathione, hello. your body can't detoxify. So Undenatured whey protein, hello, glutathione, here we come. I mean, it's so simple, and yet, why is nobody talking about this? See, when I did my research, that's what I thought. Why is nobody talking about this? I'd look at toxins, and then I'd see a study, like I'm sure you're aware of the baby study from five years ago, where every newborn infant yes, had 287 yes. toxic chemicals in their cord blood at birth. It's like, hello? So how toxic are we? Would it be a good idea to maybe think about detoxing? And even when we think about detoxing, we have to realize the body, to remove toxic metals, to remove toxic substances, it needs to make a substance called glutathione. And this is actually, they didn't know the term glutathione, but in my studies, that the Ayurvedic system of medicine, which is 5,000 years old, and there I am, I'm studying with a teacher in India, and I've got three giant books filled with herbs, herbs for everything, okay? <laughs> but he said, for the herbs to work, you have to follow the specific dietary regime. Right. And what is that dietary regime? It's a form of yogurt. It's called, in their culture, it was called buttermilk. They took the protein out of the milk. I'm sorry, they took the fat. They make the butter, right. which takes the fat out of the dairy, and now you're left with a protein, and then you let the protein culture. For 5,000 years, if somebody gets sick, they would have this cultured buttermilk, which is simply their form of yogurt.